So here's a look at my chain line. You can see it right there. I think that's where it's perfectly aligned with the chain ring. Lower cox. So that's one extreme. And going up now. With the chain line here on the fifth cog, uh, what you're going to notice is that if I back pedal, the chain is stable here on the 32. However, when I move up to 37 or the 42, 37 might stick around, 42 jumps for sure. Watch this. So 32, perfectly fine. 37. Look at that. That was 37. This is 42. 42, right away. So in trying to understand what's causing this uh, chain drops, um, I thought I would uh, compare what I have here is an 1142 M8000. This is an um, SRAM 1136, but this is a 10 speed, 11 speed. And not only that they made the uh, chain error, but if you look here, see that there is, and again, this is not scientific at all, but it looks like they pushed this largest cog a bit closer to the spokes. So you have it moved inward a little bit more. So whatever worked here, this would probably be the 36 here. It's about in the same position that the 37 is here, which still doesn't really totally explain why it drops off the 37 but I thought I would bring that up. Again, this is a 10 speed 1136, this is the 11 speed 1142. When you are taking something like this and turning it into an extended with something like um, 42 teeth from one up, the beauty of that one is, of that solution is that you keep the cogs in the same position. You're just eliminating one of the small ones. So anyway, that's what I found. Unfortunately, there aren't that many options when it comes to chain ring adjustment and all comes down to one thing and that is how much space you have here between your chain ring and the frame as you can see here I do have a bit to play with and what I'm planning to do is these are two millimeter spacers I'm gonna install those between the spider here and the chain ring for those of you that have an external threaded bottom bracket like here you can play around with the spacers. You see I have a two millimeter one over there. You can move that over. You can put a thicker one if you want to, a thinner one. So that gives you extra ability to move your chain rings in and out. And as always, don't forget that you can use what is here, 64 BCD. You can use the granny gear position to move your chain line even closer to the frame. Uh, unfortunately, this is not something I can do on my uh, Kona which was uh, meant to be a 1x10 system from the get-go. So here's how it looks like with the 2mm spacers in there. And what I had to do, these are shims that go here on the spider. Um, uh, they are usually used when you have uh, chain ring bolts that are too long. In this case I had to take them out because otherwise my chain ring bolts will be too short. So with the 2 mil spacers installed, you can see here I don't have much left really. To play with so that's the most I can do for my chain line in terms of pushing my uh, chain ring uh, towards the frame um, these are uh, 104 BCDs uh, obviously the M8000 the 96 BCDs are very similar to this but it all comes down to the clearance that you have here between the chain ring and the frame so here is so uh, chain line is slightly off that fifth cog, maybe a bit towards the sixth one. And here's my 42. Look okay. at that. It jumps off right away. And let's see here. 37. Oh, almost the same. So 37 and 42. Try not to backpedal. 32 will work just fine. So that's how it is for me. Uh, looks like I'm, I'm gonna have to learn to deal with it. It hasn't been an issue for me so far. Hope it won't be in the future. And um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, see you next time.